Hey, this is a video of Vsauce being able to lift a spinning gyroscopic weight that's 45 pounds, that's this thing, above his head while only holding with his right hand. Uh, you're gonna see in a second that he's able to support the entire weight using gyroscopic precession. So the actual gyroscopic perception is able to balance on his right arm above his head, putting all the weight on his arm like so. So you can use this principle and have some sort of mechanism with some computer guided system that instead of his right arm holding it, it would be another gyroscope that's able to fight the gyroscopic perception, precession, and you would be able to have like a small device in your hand while you ride a skateboard, for instance, with two gyroscopes. One would just be a large weight spinning like the 45 pound gyroscope right here. And the other one would be able to fight it in a particular way, moving perfectly to allow you on like a skateboard or something to balance perfectly. And uh, furthermore, you could just put this in like a strange riding device that could leverage all the weight on one side. So essentially you could be on a motorcycle or something with that creates the illusion that all the weight is completely on, like this. My wrist would be where the wheels are, and the rest of the weight would be at the, the rider would be where my fingers are. It would create a huge illusion that would be almost impossible for most people to comprehend how it's able to balance. And it's all just gyroscopes in the end, and I think that's really interesting. I think it would be really cool if uh, professional skateboarders just use this as a way to balance while doing a manual. I think it would allow people who don't know how to balance and do a manual, do a manual real easily, because this would be at the maximum, it would be able to generate like 20 to like 50 pounds of balancing counterbalance force. If you used an algorithm to do this entire system in a handheld device, you could put it on the board, but that's less cool. It, and it doesn't really, uh, it's less magical that way, but it's a physical process. It's a physical phenomenon. This is physics. And that's why I think it's so interesting. Bye.